All right, so we are gonna feed um, Mrs. Smith. She's our red corn snake. Um, we have her in the snake feeding container, and does it say it on that yep. side? Um, and so we, um, we only feed her in this snake feeding container, and the reason being, so um, when she's in her tank, she knows when hands come in, they're not food. So when she's in the container, she knows if something is coming in, that means food. So it's, it's a safety precaution. Um, so once she's in here, we seal this lid until we are ready to offer her um, the, the mice or the rats. Um, and that again is, is just a safety. So when she's in here, she knows it's feeding time. When she's in her tank, she knows when hands come in or things come in, it's not feeding time and she's not striking at it. So um, we put her in here, it's sealed. In the meantime, we heated up water without the, the rats or the mice in them. So they come in, um, we buy these frozen, we don't feed live. Um, live is, feeding live is another way of um, encouraging aggression and we don't want that to happen with, with uh, Mrs. Smith. So, um, these are just uh, fuzzies that we, I think, got at PetSmart, probably. Um, but we feed up, we heat up the water first, um, so the, the m mice were not in them, or was not in it. There we go. And uh, two and a half, three minutes. Um, so we want to get it pretty warm, and then we put the mice in afterwards. So we don't put the mice in it to heat it up in the microwave because things expand in the microwave, um, and so. Um, could cause our mice to um, more or less explode and we don't want that to happen. So um, once we feel like they're at a good temperature, so these are frozen when we're not ready to feed them. So um, when I take them out of the water, I just kind of hold and feel um, to make sure that they're not still frozen. And um, snakes eat and see off of body heat. And so we don't feed frozen mice because to them that's something that's dead and they want to eat something that is more or less alive and so we're heating them up to reach a body temperature so that when we um, place the mice in there she will strike at them because it's at the right temperature she's seen almost like a thermal um, heating um, is what she is seeing so that is why we heat them up and it's not um, they're not cold so for these tongs what I do is I grab the feet and the tail of the the mice and so this is hanging enough for her to be able to strike at it. My hands are away. Um, and when I open this, she knows anything that's coming in, she's able to strike at. So I'm going to um, just hold it in there. And then as soon as she strikes at it, I'm just gonna let go. But this way it keeps it, keeps the tongs away from her mouth um, and her safe, um, me safe, um, but also just as far away and at the end as possible, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and open the container. And you can see she's already ready. Um, her, her tongue right now is actually, that's what she's doing is smelling, but her smelling is um, partial scent and partial heat as well. So she's, she's ready, she's pretty hungry. And so she, as soon as she struck at it, I just released the pressure on the tongs. I go ahead and close it back. Um, to make sure that we're safe and then we just let her um, kind of work through that so snakes can eat um, things that are larger than their mouth because they can dislocate their jaw and so what she's doing is just working her fangs and mouth around that that mouse so while she's doing that I'm gonna go ahead and get this other mouse out to make sure that it is warm enough and all I'm doing is warm but not too warm yes if it's too hot um, she's not going to eat that as well so it has to be that perfect Just temperature for it. her so and I am just gonna let it sit on this paper towel to kind of dry off a little bit as well and we let her process that once it gets to a certain point I'll show you um, when we'll offer her another one so if we were to offer her one right now, she's obviously not gonna go after it because she's still eating this one. Um, and so we'll let her eat that, pass it um, through, and then we'll offer the next one. So it has to be at the right time. So you 
you can kind of see she's just, it's a back and forth motion. She's just working, working her jaws and fangs around that, that mouth. So at this point, she's swallowed it, and you can see in her body, it's a little enlarged, and so you'll start to see it kind of work through. Her movement is what's moving that mouse through her body. So now it's right here, and we're gonna wait, let's say it's probably about two inches, let it get about four inches back. So right now it's here. So it's already passed through that far. And so now she's looking out here and she's looking for more. So now she's ready for another one. That um, mouse is about four inches back. So we'll go ahead and do this one again. We're grabbing the feet and the tail so that she has room to strike, but we are also at a safe distance. So again, I'm gonna open this now. Knowing that I'm not putting my hands in, I'm just, and she's ready, <laughs> so she knows it's coming. And as soon as she struck, I just released and let it fall. Close it back. Picture. Picture. Oh. Let's not stop it and then start another video and put them together. <coughs> that was an odd comment. It does You can edit pieces out too. I don't like in my eye movie. Okay. So I guess if you just want to record the whole thing, yeah. we'll, okay. we'll crap this part out. Okay. Yeah, I was say you can also always edit. And it's only, we're only at seven minutes. Eight. Some, yeah. eight, eight minutes. Um, not too bad. Because we have to, I'm going to show them getting her back in. Yeah. Because you don't, yeah. You don't want to touch her afterwards. Right. They don't want to be genteel and yeah, so yes. they don't. I know that because I have one. <laughs> there you go. And you can see this one back here too. It's still... Um, at that spot back there, about five inches, four, four or five inches back. video. Are there any bus riders? Okay. Okay. So we've got about a about a minute and a half or so until they'll call out for bus riders. Just so you know. So if I you guys want to grab your stuff. Yeah. Ooh. I left my radio next door. So. I think mine's on. Oh, it's good. I think. I choke on food and I have teeth and then I don't have teeth. They, again. I said I choke on food and I have like a whole oh. face of teeth and they barely even have any. <laughs> like, my mind is um, blown. I cleaned everything and gave them food and water, but I don't know if I'm supposed to put them in there and like welcome in or not. No, okay. they can have access in the now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this one out. 
really feel like this is so expensive. I don't want to tell you. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm outside my comfort zone being this close to snakes, huh? Alright, so she... Yeah. Looks like she's looking for more. She's moving. So we'll go ahead and offer this third one to her. That's so sad. Yep, she's ready. And we'll close it. Again, just to let her process that. It's good. Do we just let him go? Yeah, I guess so. Yep. Okay. You can go ahead and dismiss all go. bus riders. Go ahead and dismiss all bus riders. All bus riders. See you guys. Have a good weekend. We have a long weekend. How much do you guys normally feed her? Like a day? Right, so she doesn't get fed on a day. Um, she usually, it depends on the size of the rat or the mouse that you're going to feed her. Um, right now, these are, um, I think these are maybe medium mice medium-sized mice. Um, I think she could probably go up to, to either a small rat or a large mouse. It's about the same size. Um, you ideally would rather have one larger meal, so one larger, like a rat, um, versus the like three small ones. It's easier for her to digest it. It's better for their digestive system. Um, but it's usually about every two weeks. Um, so if we if we we get back on track and on schedule, it's every two weeks. Um, she would get like two of these. So it's about, depending on the size, a, a rat or a mouse a week. So we get, she gets fed a mouse a week, or a rat a week. Every two. Every we we feed her every two weeks. Every other week we we'll, we will feed her, um, and then we just do it like a double. Um, or if we increase the size, it might just be a. Um, like a small rat so versus they the two. process food slowly, like really slow through their body. It takes a couple of days for her to poop, and yeah. we usually don't handle her until she does does poop. So I eat three um, times a day. I can't imagine eating one time a week, or one time every two. Yeah, weeks. so their metabolism is different than ours, where we need that yeah. constant um, fuel throughout the day. Theirs is um, is not the same. It is not the same concept. Um, it it their food they'll eat until um, they can't eat anymore and then it takes um, several days for them to process that and digest that and um, use that as fuel. So when she opened her mouth there's like a piece of like skin right there? What is Those it? Like there's like on the side of her mouth. Like this? So that's just her like that, jaw more okay. or less and so the she dislocates it and, and it, she can expand it and okay. that's just her skin. Okay because I was like So that was the third one, and we usually let her pass that a little bit um, further, and you can see the other two are back here just because she's her body's expanded. Um, we'll let her move that along a little bit um, before we put her back in her tank. Um, and to do that, since we're, we don't... Go ahead and release drivers and pick up, drivers and pick up. Since we don't touch her, um, we gently open and we gently just kind of slide her back in. Um, just because she's still in the eating mood? Yes. Don't want her to yeah, eat she could regurgitate what we just gave her. Right. Yeah. Cute. Have a good three day weekend. Thank you. Yep, she just re hinged her, her jaws. Mm -hmm. Uh, your book bag you is open. Just so you know. Okay. Hold on. Shut the door, please. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right. We're at 15. Can we go ahead and put her back in, or do you want to lift it? Um, I think we can put her back in. Thank you. 
the tongs. Yeah. <laughs> Just a moment. <laughs> All right, so to put her back in, um, because she is in that feeding container, um, we don't want to, to stick our hands in. We don't want to touch her. Um, so we'll take the top off as she's ready. She might still be ready. All right, and then we will just um, kind of give her the, the chance Go on out. And sometimes she does and sometimes she doesn't. We try not to disturb her too much because if we um, um, move her about, shake her about, it could cause her to regurgitate what we just fed her and we don't want that to happen. So we try not to to move her too much. Oh, that's gonna fall here. Sometimes that happens. Just kind of let her move herself about. There she goes. She'll go back down in there. Maybe. There she goes. And she's kind of, she's pulling her body. I'm not tipping that. So she's, she's getting herself down in there. Get her on that rock. I'm just gonna, her head is past me. So I'm just holding onto this so that it doesn't fall. And then at this point, um, we leave her for a few days um, so that, again, we're not disturbing her and she regurgitates her food. So we will get um, either a post-it or write on her tank that she was fed and the date that she was fed. Um, and so we wait until she poops um, and um, at least 48 hours or until she poops before uh, we'll handle her again.